What's up, Morgan family? Welcome back to my channel. So today for you guys, I have a Dollar Tree haul. Obviously behind me, you can tell it's a little bit different this week because I took the mirrors off on this side. I'm starting to decorate for fall. I might take the mirrors off on that side. I'm not positive yet. If you're interested in some of the decor behind me, I have a Dollar Tree DIY video up for you guys where I show you how to make this wall art, these little like candlestick things, tear tray, and then the uh, topiary. And yay, this week I get to wear a graphic tee because the house is in excruciatingly hot right now. Fingers crossed that it doesn't get hotter. And I told you guys my AC sucks. The central air sucks. I do have like a AC unit right here, but if I put it on, you can't hear what I'm saying, so I have to keep it off. So this week, like I said, I get to wear a graphic t-shirt. This one I've had for a while. I got it at JCPenney um, on clearance. It was $4.99. I got it online, and it's a woman's small, but the thing is, it cuts off way too small, so I don't wear it too often, just, but I love the image on this graphic t-shirt because it's the old school My Little Ponies, not the new ones. So now let's jump into the Dollar Tree haul. As always, I like to start off my Dollar Tree hauls with my favorite item that I found this week, and this is just like a repeat buy for me. I buy this a lot, but I was happy to find it because I really, really need these for my wedding. I recently bought some fairy lights from Dollar Tree, but it was the Halloween collection. I got the white ones because I haven't been able to find these ones at Dollar Tree. But when I went to Dollar Tree this week, I found some of the copper LED lights. I needed these so, so bad because it's at least two um, mason jars per table and I have 25 tables. It is going to be a mixture of the warm lights and cool lights because I have the Halloween ones but it's okay. I think it's going to look nice nonetheless. The cool thing about this though is when I bought these I ran into a subscriber. I don't really run into subscribers at Dollar Tree. I've only ran into a subscriber once at Dollar Tree and this was my second time running into one. So hi Michelle and Landon. Landon was her son. Thank you so much Michelle for saying hi to me. It's pretty cool because like you know, at the end of the day, I'm a regular person. That morning, that before I met Michelle, I was at work on Labor Day, working. And then I went to Culver's, and then I went to Dollar Tree, and then I ran into her, and it's just like, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm doing something right because people actually watch me and it means a lot to me. So I ended up purchasing 10 of the lights. They do take AA batteries, so I'm gonna have to go to Costco and pick up some of their Kirkland batteries for sure. And now onto a more interesting product probably for you guys. I picked up some new makeup at Dollar Tree this week. It's from City Color. I've never seen them before. City Color Beat Matte lipsticks. I love matte lipsticks. It's my favorite type of finish. I don't like anything too shiny, too glossy. I would say like probably after this, satin is the closest that I like. So I picked up five different colors. There were a lot of colors, but these were the five that caught my eye. They're mainly like nudes and pinks, which is my favorite. I don't really wear anything else beside that. So the first one I got is a nude color, and this one, it's called Taupe, um, and it says M15. The next one I got is like a darker pink, and it is called Valor then the next one which honestly looks like it's gonna be my favorite one just looking at it I don't know how it's actually gonna apply but this one is called soft pink I really really like my pinks and then this one is called baby pink so none of these have like any creative really creative names like baby touch of pink you know how lipstick people do it that was a terrible example but anyways and then the next one is just pink I'm gonna put soft pink on my lips right now um, I have candy K lip liner already on which is like a mauve kind of color so I mean it is going to mess with this color a little bit but we'll see this is definitely pink it is pigmented this is a color because of how light it is that I would put on the center of my lips I wouldn't necessarily put it all around my lip I think I like something darker on the outside and then a little bit lighter in the inside to make your lips look more plumpy Moving on, Dollar Tree starting to get some Halloween accessories in. They do have like costumes, but it's for kids. It's a little tutus. Other than that, it's mainly accessories. And this week I was able to find this unicorn headband. I've never seen this at Dollar Tree before. I've seen like the butterfly wings, the ladybug wings, um, the gladiator armor, the pirate patch. I've never seen anything related to a unicorn. So I had to pick it up because like we get to dress up at work. Or even like if it's just Halloween and like you're somebody like me who doesn't go all out but you want to wear a little something. Look a little cute little unicorn headband like oh my gosh. And this would not be a dollar at like Spirit Halloween or like the Halloween City. And with this headband I got a unicorn tail. This is just so cute. There was like a unicorn tutu but like I said I ain't gonna fit in that. It's like made for children but look at this. That's so cute. Like two dollars right there and you have a little something to wear at work and then you could do some really really cute makeup with this. I've done unicorn makeup woo, before on my other channel. I'll insert some pictures right now. So maybe that'll give you some inspiration. I don't know. Now I got some new fall related items to show you guys. This week Dollar Tree got a lot of fall items in, especially glass items. So the first two that I got are these vases. 
I love them so much. They got a frosted appearance. They had four different colors. I got the green and orange. They also had a red one and then a yellow one. There's twine wrapped around this and then a little metal leaf. It is totally worth a dollar. I've been actually waiting to show you guys this so I can switch this out because I got like this little fall um, floral piece from Michaels. I got it on sale for $10 and then I used 20% off. So I got this floral piece from Michaels. It was $15, but then I used a 20% off coupon and I've been wanting to stick that inside of this instead of the clear one. It looks better to me with the green one. And then I got these flowers right here, again from Michaels. I got these on sale for $5 and I'm gonna put them inside of this one, but I'm not gonna keep this down here. I'm putting this one in the kitchen. I think these are wonderful for a dollar for decorating, especially since, you know, like some things from Dollar Tree, like a candle, which I'm gonna show you a candle soon, it only can decorate just a tiny little space in your house, but something like this, it takes up a bit more space. It's more like an actual decorating piece. Then I got two candle holders, again with that metal leaf and an orange and green. They've kind of got a little bit of an ombre appearance to them because it starts off as a darker orange, it fades to lighter orange. And then this one, it's like green, a darker green, and then fades to lighter green. These came in four different colors, red, yellow, green, and orange. Then I got these glasses. These ones are really, really pretty. There is a ribbon. Again, there's a metal leaf, but this time it's just a leaf. It's not like a maple leaf. And then I really like this like finish to it it almost looks like satin to me so this time around I did get the red and the red that I'm talking about for all of these is like a burgundy red and then I got uh, green and orange again these ones are really 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 nice like I just think they look so pretty I love them so much anyways if you like pina colada you're getting caught in the rain if you're not into yoga I've had that song it stuck in my head all summer anyways Next, I got these candles. This is the first time I've ever seen these at Dollar Tree. So they are um, pumpkin candles, and I got the two ones that I saw. One is a little bit taller, and one's a little bit smaller. They're wrapped up and have a little bow on top of them, which is pretty cool. So I can't smell anything through the package, and my guess is it doesn't have much of a scent because usually the Dollar Tree candles that are like in a shape like this and not inside of a glass, they tend not to have not the greatest throw but nonetheless I bought them to decorate with and when you light it up it's still pretty I mean it might not smell the greatest but you know having that flame going on it's like very relaxing I got another two candles these are super pretty they've got a metal maple leaf and then this time around what's wrapped around it it looks like a straw it's not twine definitely so I got the yellow and green one they had them in the same four different colors this one says it's crackling fire does it smell like fire no but it does smell kind of like potpourri to me. And then this one says it's called Sweet Harvest Fig. And I don't smell much with this. But it's kind of like these as well. Like I said, when they're not really inside of the glass, they tend to have like not a great throat. For me, most Dollar Tree candles don't have like the strongest scent. And I use them more so for decoration than I do to actually make a room smell good. Because it just doesn't really get the job done. And if you're wondering, they don't really fit inside of these glasses. You're probably going to have to put them on a little tray unless you get a bigger um, glass candle holder from Dollar Tree. The next item I got is this orange candle holder. It has a mercury glass appearance to it. I cannot wait to put a candle inside of it because I want to see how it lights up. But this one I bought for a DIY. I only bought one. Dollar Tree got some more Rose Collection candles in and they've got the whole fall appearance on them this time around. So this one says Hello Autumn. It has leaves on it and then this one says leaves falling autumn calling i said this before the rose collection candles you can't really smell them unless you put your nose like directly into it it's more so for decoration when it comes to like the appearance of them again i'm going to keep repeating myself but that's how it is with a lot of dollar tree candles not always but a lot of times it's just not the strongest scent that it gives off girl i was able to find another face mask this week Dollar Tree has been getting lots of face masks in that aren't Dollar Tree brand because I don't like the Dollar Tree Green Briar face mask. They really don't work well. So I've been into using the Yes ones that I got recently. I love them. And then I used the Stella Pearl one and that one made my skin super, super soft. This time around, I was able to find the Stella Collagen Face Mask. It says firming and plumping made in Korea. On the back, it says help from your skin and boost smoothness with Stella's Collagen Face Mask. Dollar Tree right now has a bunch of fall related placemats in but this one I like the most out of the ones I saw. So I picked up only one and I also picked up, let me go grab it, and Penny's barking. So I picked up also one of these brown placemats 
and I want to like layer them like this and then put I've got some dishes and I'll show you guys it right now in like a close-up but I got some dishes from Dollar Tree and I was just trying to figure out a place setting um, that would be really nice for fall I bought some Dollar Tree dinnerware last week and that I have in the kitchen but I also have like a dining room set that I want to decorate with and I saw this combination I was like it might work and the final item I picked up at Dollar Tree this week was this welcome mat. Now this is more like a piece of carpet than it is a mat. Dollar Tree right now has like a bunch of pieces of carpet. Before they had like square ones and now they're getting these really long rectangular ones. And I have no clue where they're getting this carpet from. So it's kind of like the same carpet you can buy at Dollar Tree right now except there's some saying on it. And like it's better quality than the other Dollar Tree mats because it's thicker. So that's it for this week's Dollar Tree haul. As always, I like to end my hauls with a question. And last week, I wanted to know what your favorite show of all time was. So these are the top responses that I saw. And what I started watching was the Golden Girls. I've never actually seen the Golden Girls. People always talk about it. And I know, like, it's popular. And I know I share the same birthday as Betty White. Because every single time that it's my birthday, happy birthday, Betty White is trending. I started watching it, and it's freaking funny. So for this week's question, I want to know what is your favorite album of all time? I always ask questions about music, but I've never asked what is your favorite album of all time. Mine's is Hybrid Theory by Linkin Park. I told you guys before, Linkin Park is my favorite band of all time, and Hybrid Theory is what made me love Linkin Park. I really like Meteora, but Hybrid Theory has my heart. As Crawling in the End, One Step Closer, paper cut i love it in the end is definitely my favorite song from that entire album so let me know your favorite album down in the comments below thank you so much for watching this week's dollar tree haul i will see you guys next time take care bye